There are so many new beauty releases happening all the time, so we gathered some of the most hyped products to test for ourselves. I finally got my hands on the House Labs Atomic Shake Lip Lacquer. This is another one of those transfer-proof glossy lipsticks. This is definitely like the hot new lip formula, so you shake the product well, then apply it. The pigment in this really shocked me. It was so vibrant, it almost looked neon. This went on so smooth, I didn't need more than one layer for full coverage, and it was so glossy. I had to wait 15 seconds for what they call the shine shield to form, then I kissed the back of my hand to see if I got any transfer, and nothing. I've tried three lipsticks with this kind of formula, and so far this is the best one. This is the Model 1's Color Cube in Bonfire Amour. It's a solid gel cream palette. It comes with nine gel polishes, and you can get them in different color stories and finishes. It also comes with this little brush. I've used a solid gel cream before, but I forgot how thick it actually is, so it did take me some time to apply it in even layers. I did have to do two coats for full coverage on some colors. I think a product like this can be super convenient, especially if you do nail art or just don't have the space to keep a bunch of gel polishes around. It doesn't come with a base or top coat, but I still really like this. I tested out a ton of products from Jason Wu Beauty. This is a new brand for me, so let's start with what I didn't like. This Frida brow was too light for me, which is my fault, but the formula on this is weird. It feels like an oily cream that never dries down, so I doubt it'll keep my brows in place. These stay in line lip liners weren't great. They were also too light for me, so I ended up using my own lip liner to deepen it. These are smooth, but a little too creamy. They don't feel like they're gonna last very long on the lips at all. I also didn't like the Woo Prime Eye. The formula is so tacky and thick, it made my eyeshadow look patchy in certain areas. Now onto the stuff I loved. This Flora 4 palette was surprisingly pigmented and easy to blend. I feel like the primer is what got in the way of showing you its full potential, but I still really liked it. This blush trio is so gorgeous and blended out really nicely. I used this Ready to Shimmer Cream Shadow as a highlighter and it gave me the prettiest golden glow even though it's not really meant for the face. This jewel stick was incredible. Look how much it brightened up my inner corners. The Honey Fluff Lip Cream was soft and comfortable on the lips. If you get anything from this brand, get this Extra Pout Lip Plumper. Oh my God, even if you don't care about the lip plumping aspect, this is one of the best lip gloss formulas I have ever tried. It's so cushiony and shiny and amazing and everyone should get it. The Makeup Forever The Professional Mascara is definitely a mascara. It's nothing amazing. It has one side for lifting and the other side for volumizing. I didn't get much of a lift, but I did get a nice amount of volume. I just think there are better mascaras out there for way less money. I am a huge fan of About Face. I love so many of its products, so when these Cheek Freak blush bombs dropped, I snatched up three different colors. I'm just gonna say it, I am so in love with these. I was nervous at first because it's described as a blush balm, which to me sounded like it would break up my foundation, but these blended in so beautifully. It never moved the product underneath even if my skin was already powdered. And the pigment on these is unreal. You can build them up however much you want. I think these can work for so many different skin tones. They are so, so good. I made the horrible mistake of purchasing the Winky Luxe Saucy Gloss 4-Piece Combo Lip Gloss Set. This was made in collaboration with Applebee's and the glosses are inspired by its wing sauces. You guys, I thought everyone was exaggerating when they said the smell was making them gag, but no. These smell god-awful and it sucks so bad because the color story is so pretty. And I could like see this concept working had they just not added the sauce scents. Or even if they did something like lemon pepper smells like lemon, buffalo is just a spicy lip plumper. But no, they went in this direction, we all bought it and talked about it, which is probably what they wanted. So I hope you're happy, Winky Lux. You ruined four beautiful glosses. I tried out a new foundation from Chanel. I actually wouldn't call this a foundation. It's more like a super hydrating light tint. It's very similar to that rose ink tinted serum I tried a while ago. So it has these pigment beads that burst and spread as you apply it. This literally feels like nothing on the skin. There is little coverage, but it evens everything out nicely and it feels hydrating. I don't think this has a strong staying power, but it's still a pretty tint for when you don't wanna do too much. 
Chanel also has a blush in this formula, so I tested that out too. I actually blended it out on the back of my hand before applying and tapped it on with a sponge. It took a minute to build up the color, but I think it's supposed to look very natural. It also didn't break up the product underneath. I'm surprised by how much I liked these. They don't do too much, but it's enough to make a difference. This is the Maybelline Shadow Blocks Eyeshadow Palette. It's a tiny stack of eyeshadows, very similar to the Kaja Bento Trios. The packaging is pretty cheap. One of my shadows fell out, but it's okay. I applied these without any primer just to see how they perform on their own. They're actually pretty pigmented shadows. I didn't have any trouble blending them and the shimmer shade was pretty, but overall, I think these are just okay. I like the idea of a palette like this more than the execution. Everyone has been loving these NYX Jumbo Lash Lashes, so I had to try them even though I am terrible with false lashes. I thought the style Ego Flare would look nice on my eye shape and I was right. These lashes made me feel like a whole new person. Like these are Disney princess eyes. They were pretty easy to apply and the band was really comfortable. I think these have totally convinced me to wear lashes more often. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Munda Shadow in Space Cowboy. This is basically a glitter shadow. This shade in particular has been going viral. It is super intense and reflective, but you can definitely diffuse it to be more subtle. This formula is really smooth and easy to work with however you want to use it, so I really loved this. I did get some glitter fallout, so I'd recommend using a primer or leaving some powder under the eyes while you're applying. If you want something more eye-catching and elevated than a shimmer shadow, this is perfect.